This is Debbie Gray, and this is task number 16. We're doing a TPR and an auscultation on cap. And this is our little friend here, I think. I can't remember what we're calling her. We're just going to call her Kitty. Um, so right now we're assessing her, just her attitude, her appearance. Her attitude right now is pretty laid back. She's just kind of sniffing the cage out and getting used to everything. Um, she seems to have a very calm um, temperament. She... She has a pretty normal gait. I don't see anything wrong. She seems to be breathing well. Her hair coat is nice and pretty. She, her body weight, I would say she's not obese, but she's a little bit overweight. I don't know that at this point that I would call it obese though. Okay, so we have moved over to our wet table and I have my friend Julissa here helping. And so we have um, a few different things. We have our thermometer because we're going to take the temp in a minute. I have some lube for that. We have a stethoscope and then I'm going to be using Julissa's phone um, as a stopwatch for when we're counting our heart rate and calculating our um, breaths. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate the mucous membrane color. which she's really pretty pink. Okay, and I'm going to determine the capillary refill time. So I'm just gonna press. <laughs> no, I need to scrub her. Okay. okay, and we're under, looks like about two seconds. So as long as we're under three seconds, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to use my stethoscope and I'm going to, so we're gonna listen to the different um, valves of the heart. So we have the um, pulmonic, the mitral, and the aortic, and then over on the other side we have the tricuspid, okay? So I'm just gonna listen to her. That scope's getting stuck in my hair. Just gonna listen to the different valves. And now I'm going to use Julissa's phone, and we're going to um, obtain the heart rate. And okay, so I'm just going to let's see. So our heart rate is 160, and how I get that is I tell you, I count the number of beats um, per 15 seconds, and I multiply that by four. So it was 40 beats per 15 seconds. Multiply that by four, and I get 160. Okay. So now I'm going to take the heart and palpate the femoral pulse, and I'm going to make sure that they match. So I'm going to get you to turn Kitty this way. Just scrub her. I'm going to take the femoral pulse. Okay. And those match. Okay. So now we're going to also take the lung fields and we're going to calculate um, the respiratory rate. We're going to make sure that we don't hear anything abnormal that we shouldn't be hearing. Okay. So I'm going to listen to, we're going to listen right in the middle of her chest here. It's the best place to listen. And she's purring, but I don't hear anything abnormal. Feel the other side. That all sounds good. So now I'm going to go ahead and get her respiratory rate. So I'm going to take the breaths 
for 15 seconds. hard to do with her purring like she is but it sounds like it's about eight breaths um, per 15 seconds so you take that multiply it by four and you get 32 so it's her her um, respiratory rate is 32 so now we're going to go ahead and get her temperature we like to do this last because this makes an angry kitty so I'm just going to get some lube and I've already placed a cover on this to keep it clean I'm gonna turn it on and I'm just going to place it in the rectal. I know, kitty. And so we're just going to have to leave it here until it beeps. Which, these are not good for animals because they take forever. kitty. Normal um, range for a temp for a cat is about 100 to 102 degrees. And so we really don't like it to be too much over that. Come on, no baby. I know. Okay. okay, it's stopped moving. I haven't beeped yet, but it's stopped moving. So we're at 100.9, so she's normal.